Hello everyone. So I've got a 8420 John Deere here that CCU code 62 and 63 were coming up. When 62 comes up, it's saying that the there is low oil in the clean oil reservoir or your transmission. And 63 comes on whenever that oil is low too long. So I went through and I studied this whole system to try to figure it out. Apparently John Deere decided to put five hydraulic pumps on this tractor. The fifth one is not important. It has nothing to do with how the tractor functions. It is simply an emergency pump mounted on the output shaft of your transmission. So as long as the trans tractor is moving, it will be pumping oil. So in case your engine would shut off and you'd lose everything, at least you'd have oil there that would supply your brakes and your steering. That's all. Um, so that pump, we're not going to be talking about that anymore. So we're going to start with where the oil begins at and get underneath here. This is your tandem pump. Now what we see here is the inside pump here. There's two pumps here. This is the outer one. This is the inner one. On the 100 series and the 10 series, it'll be flipped around. Um, the inner pump is the primary pump, and this is the charge pump. On the 110 series, this is the charge pump, and this is the uh, primary pump. So the primary pump, what it does is it takes oil from about a foot above the bottom of the reservoir, and it pumps it up to your transmission, and primarily it brakes and steering, and also to your transmission. And then there's also, from there, it transfers oil, whatever's left over, to your pilot back on the SCVs. I'll show you that later. The charge pump supplies your mechanical front wheel drive, PTO, and differential lock with oil. But its primary, primary function is to supply your secondary pump on this side with oil. It would draw from the sump up underneath on the very bottom of the transmission. And there's a strain down there. That strain can sometimes get plugged if you have other things going on. So this is your secondary pump. This one would supply the hydraulics and, and, if, and your three-point hitch. Um, so we see oil coming in here. Oops, there we go. Here from your oil filter housing, which is up here. There is a, there's a sensor here for oil pressure. That would be the input from your, what's dumping from your hydraulics and also from the charge pump. It would read that. And then there's a port here for a uh, test port. Can't really see it there, but, um, and that would be the output of the filter. So you can, you can measure what your oil pressure is, input and output, both. Um, so your, the oil returning through your SCVs comes back through the filter as well and teams up with the charge pump. Uh, and that way the charge pump doesn't have to do everything as long as you're running dual acting cylinders. On this pump, this is the 57 millimeter pump. You have the output. This is, this is your um, pump case drain. And on the other side, there's this little line coming down right here. That is your, um, what do they call it now? It's what activates the pump, tells the pump to turn on. Um, I can't remember what the right word is it for, for right now. So the pump case drain right here should have no more, on this pump, no more than three gallon per minute at any point. On the smaller pumps, two gallon per minute, um, including when you're running the hydraulics. And that goes up and dumps in the back of your transmission case. And you can see that. You can actually see the flow of that if you take this bolt out right here 
pull this fill, fill tube off and you will actually see your the stream of oil from the pump case drain. So then up here on the 20 series, um, I forget which is which now. Boy, we have, I think it, this is pilot and this is this is charge pressure or your what would go back to the filter. Um, you can tell the difference really easily because the pilot pressure should be around 275 and the charge pressure when there's no SCVs running should be maybe 10 to 15. Um, if it's as low as five, it's not a big deal. But you'll have very little pressure there. Primarily, you'll have pressure there um, for your pilot. And the pilot comes from the primary pump. Then there's one more pump, and it is mounted on the auxiliary shaft of the transmission. So your transmission case has an input shaft on top, and has a counter shaft. And then it has an output shaft, which also goes forward to your four-wheel drive. And then below that is the primary shaft and the, pri or the auxiliary shaft. And the auxiliary ah, is just above this here filter. This is a screen that you can, it's really oily, but you can pull that out. And it's actually the sump screen for the transmission. And then right above that is what they call a scavenge pump mounted on the auxiliary shaft. And what that scavenge pump does is it, is it keeps the oil level in your transmission from not getting too high. So it'll pump oil back to your, to your transmission. And I think it also does some lubrication here and there. But that's the primary purpose of the scavenge pump. Um, so those are the four basic pumps. That's kind of a rundown on how these hydraulic systems run. Um, then on the 100 series... This is an 8100 I have sitting here. Of course, this top back here looks different. They couldn't keep them the same, of course. Um, and so this one here is your... Boy, I'm going to get them wrong again now, aren't I? It's these two here for your primary and your charge pump. Uh, or your pilot and your charge. So um, you can... Yeah, tell very quickly which is which by the amount of pressure that's coming out of them. So if you have any more questions, just yeah, feel free to ask.